Gracie, you're gonna love your new grandma, Mrs. Klein. Now, do you remember what I told you to ask her? Is she related to Calvin, and can we get a discount? <laughs> Excellent. Good morning. And how are you two ladies doing today? Fine, Daddy. I'm a mama. Everything, everything all right, Miss Fine? <laughs> Miss Fine, is there something bothering you? No, what could possibly be bothering me? I'm a fool and a laughing stone. I beg your pardon. Nothing. Miss Fine, you've barely spoken a word to me in 12 hours. It's beginning to scare me. I have no idea what you're talking about. I invited my mother. I'll never hear the end of it. Come on, Grace. Miss Fine, you are not leaving this house until I know why you're so upset with me. I'm not upset with you. You're the best boss anyone could possibly ask for. Eat, trafe, and die. <laughs> Gracie, I had Mrs. Klein thoroughly checked out. She's cute, she's sweet, and she's healthy as a horse. <laughs> you know, she holds the retirement home record for most reps on the thigh burner. One. <laughs> oh, Grandma Yetta. We're here to introduce Gracie to her new grandma, Mrs. Klein. Oh, yeah? Well, if you want to talk to her, you're going to need a Ouija board. <laughs> she never should have gone for that second rep. <laughs> Another one? What if it's me? What if I'm a jinx? Oh, no, honey. Now, that is just ridiculous. There's no such thing, poit poit. <laughs> People here are old and sick. They can go at any time, in the next minute. Would you go cheer somebody else up? <laughs> Sweetie, you're an adorable little girl, and anyone would love to be your grandma. Right? <laughs> you're not a jinx. And just to prove it to you, I'm going to give you my very own grandma. Yada! Damn crepe souls stick like gum. <laughs> Honey, I'd love to be your grandma. I've lived a good life. So then she said that Heather was a liar. So then Heather said, no, wait. Oh, yeah. No, wait. Oh, yeah. Let me start again. See, honey, you're not a jinx, because I'm not dead. And I wish I was. Uh, honey, why don't we play some hide-and-go-seek? OK, I'll hide. Good choice, sweetie. <laughs> so what's the matter? Who said anything was the matter? Stranny, I know you like the back of my hand. Jeez, I never noticed that before. <laughs> so anyway, what is it? Man trouble? Well, how can he not know what's bothering me? I don't know. It's because I'm like all the fine women. We're just too damn subtle. <laughs> it's a waste of time talking to men. First of all, they aren't that interesting. <laughs> 62 years I was married to your grandfather. We didn't say two words. The man had no communication skills. That's true. If only he'd been able to say I'm choking on a chicken bone, he'd be alive today. <laughs> so what is it? Your sex life stinks? Grandma, he doesn't sleep with me. Not even on your birthday? <laughs> no. That's a bad marriage. We're not married. Ay, look at me. I'm hanging on every word like I'm talking to Yoda. 